morning crafty crandall fam today i am coming at you with an art vlog since i have the day off it's sunday and i am just staying home doing art worthy things so today i will take you through that process take you through my day uh, as you've seen i've just eaten breakfast it was delicious and now i'm going to hop into some art planning for the day and then we'll eventually get to painting i've got a lot of projects to do today so let's hop right into it I made myself a small to-do list. I have prep clipboard, which you'll see why in a minute, sketches, portrait, clipboard painting, presentation, and guitar. So this is generally what I hope to get accomplished today. If I can get at least 80% of it done, I will be happy as it is a tall order to get all of that stuff done. I have my Etcher sketchbook out because that is the sketchbook I'd like to do a portrait in. And then over here, if I bring it over to you, I have this clipboard which for prepping means I need to sand it. <laughs> so that'll be super fun. Um, let's go ahead and get started with some of that. I might put on some different clothes so that I don't get my nice sweater all sandy. You might be wondering why I am doing this. So. I have a project for a class that I'm in where we need to design a clipboard for one of the members of the class. So in the very beginning of the class, we chose a member at random and throughout the class, we've been like following them, not following them, but like trying to learn something about their personality so that we can design this clipboard for them so that they have something as a keepsake at the end of the class to basically just look back and reflect on it. So. Today, I am going to be designing this clipboard for the person that I chose. So I've got a couple of reference photos and stuff that I can use to design this clipboard and I am excited to see how it's going to turn out. I'm going to attempt to do it in gouache and then I will varnish over the top of it so that hopefully it stays nice. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. Um, I will be filming the process for a separate video, but I wanted to give you guys a bit of the behind the scenes. All right, so I made at least the one piece that I'm happy with. I think I'm just gonna have to wing the other side because I don't really know what direction I want to take it in yet, but I definitely got the back the way that I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to sketch that out as well as sketch the portrait piece for a different video and then I can get painting. finished sketch for this piece. I'm really excited about this, although I'm so nervous about painting her hair because it's just not... Hair is always my weakness, as you guys know, if you've watched any of my videos, um, but I'd really like to get it right, so we'll try. I am getting ready to start painting. I have my Himi gouache out. I'm going to use that palette. I'm going to put my reference photo back on my iPad. I've got my water ready and my sketch. I'm going to use my artistic bear co brushes for this, which if you didn't see my last video, I will leave it linked in the cards so that you can see it. But I just got those brushes. I'm excited to try them out with gouache. I have my Diet Mountain Dew, which I am gradually consuming throughout the course of the day. And of course, I've got my filming lights on and ready to go. So that's just a little bit of the behind the scenes. If you'd like to see this painting, it will be up in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure that you're subscribed to this channel if you'd like to see more content from me. All right, I figured that I would start on the second painting while the first painting is drying. So I've got my setup changed. I've got the clipboard here. I've got the dog portrait so that I can have a reference. And I am just gonna get started on the painting process for that one. I'm not gonna do an underpainting because 
I don't think it needs one and I feel I'm painting the background blue for the water underneath the paddleboard so just gonna hop into that and see how it goes. Also, you might be noticing I changed my sweater. Um, I didn't want to get my nice light gray sweater paint, painted, paint on it. So I just changed into this, this chunky knit sweater. At this point, I think I have done a lot of painting and I am very hungry, so I'm going to make some lunch. The leftovers that I have are a pork belly stir fry. I've got some chips and some charred corn and some bread. So I'm gonna eat half of this now and then half of it for dinner so that I don't have to cook at all today, <laughs> which is super nice. Um, so that's what I'm having. As you can see, my art room is kind of a mess. <laughs> But I did manage to get the clipboard painting in a state that I'm happy with for right now. It is drying. So I'm just gonna clean up the paint supplies from that. And then I'm gonna get to work on this painting. I just like to have like fresh, clean supplies when going back into a different painting because the palette's a mess with the colors from the other painting, but none of these colors really suit this piece. So I just, I need, I need a fresh slate. Do you want a snack? Is that what you want? You want a snack? You can have a snack. Come over here. Come over here. There you go. Oh, so cute. While I clean off my palette and my brushes, I'm also just gonna do all the rest of the dishes that I've accumulated throughout the day. some decent progress with my painting over there and with that one so I think it is time to have a little snack and also maybe go for a walk even though it is I don't like to just sit all day <laughs> so gonna go for a walk and we'll take you guys along with me and I lied <laughs> so I went for a walk that was great um, but I didn't really film anything other than my walking feet. So it was a great walk. The last thing on my list to do today after doing all of that painting was to play guitar. So I'm definitely going to do that tonight. First, I'm going to eat some dinner because I am quite hungry. And then I'm going to practice guitar for quite a while, hopefully. And then just import all the footage from today so that I'm ahead on my editing and can get those three videos that I've worked on today edited and uploaded for y'all. to make some hot chocolate and then I'm going to just chill for a little bit before going to bed. Um, I really appreciate you guys spending the day with me. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Just getting some insights into like the behind the scenes of my video process, the behind the scenes of my artistic process, and just my life in general. Again, I really do appreciate it. Feel free to give this video a like if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe to this channel if you're interested and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.